Magician tricks this morning on the MTV. Yep, yes, I am magicianing here a new album. It is called uh, No Outsiders, and it is sung by very nicely by Judy Cheeks. And you know what? She's here. Good morning, Judy. <laughs> Good morning. This is your first album, uh, but it's not the first time you sing. You have sung before. Where and with whom did you sing? Um, it's not really my first album. No, it isn't? Oh. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> the first one I, I ever saw. Yeah, yeah, it's the first album that um, I've actually written all the songs and produced. Mm -hmm. My very first album was produced by Cantina Turner. Oh. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> uh, many, many moons ago. <laughs> 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 no, I was a teenager, fresh out of high school and everything. And uh, since then, um, I moved to Germany, and I lived in Germany for about seven years. Mm -hmm. And now I live here in London. Uh -huh. But you, you did a lot of work as a songwriter and, and as a vocalist on other people's records, but oh, you, you yeah. didn't like that so much. Oh yeah, I, I quite enjoyed it. Um, the time I lived in Germany, I was going through a, a, a stage of um, not really doing what was termed very commercial and just doing what mm -hmm. I really felt you know, that I should yeah. be doing. And within that time, I had to survive, I had to pay rent and stuff, so I did mm -hmm. uh, backing vocals for other acts. Yeah. And, uh, did, I did some acting as well. Oh, yeah. but what did you play? Um, uh, there's a detective series in, uh, in Germany called Soko, and mm -hmm. um, I was almost a regular there. I did about three or four of them. In German? Yeah, in German. You speak very well German then? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what? Yeah, what? <laughs> so well, that's Deutsch the time I can do. I understand it, but I can only say, yeah, what? Guten oh. Morgen, guten Appetit. <laughs> that's good. They're very good at, at, um, at these um, detective series. They had Tatort and yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Der Alten. Yeah, yeah. And you, what, what kind of role did you have? Were oh, you a, a good girl or a bad I girl? Was, well, I was a bit of, a, a bit of both. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was an informer for the police, you know, but um, I was an old druggie <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> trying to reform. This album, was this made uh, in between shootings of that series, or, or did, did you have time off to make no, the new album? No, that album was actually made um, after all. See, what happened was um, I also co-hosted a game show in Germany, mm -hmm. and when I obligated myself to do this game show, it was like two years before it actually materialized. So within those two years, I found a record company that really believed in my music and what mm -hmm. I wanted to do. So um, I actually dumped the show and... <laughs> The started, yeah, the album. That's good. Yeah. Okay. And whenever you want to uh, do a show again, please come to MTV because we can use a very good European game show here. <laughs> we, we shall see the new single, I Still Love You, from Judy Cheeks later in the program. First of all, we have Mantronics. Don't go away because Judy will be with us until 12 o'clock. Ground, but we still have Judy Cheeks in the studio. This new album, let's talk about some songs uh, of it, because we will see the new video, I Still Love You, which is also the single. Right. The album is called No Outsiders. What right. does that mean? No Outsiders. Well, uh, one of the songs on the album is called No Outsiders, and mm -hmm. um, the time I wrote that song, I was really in a, in a very strange state of mind. Well, not really strange, but very low. And um, I was in a position where I was attacked, you know, by people. I mean, it just, it just seemed that everybody, you know, headed in for me. And I thought, my God, why is this happening, you know? Then I took a closer look at the people who were actually attacking me, and I thought, you know what it is? They want attention, they want love, you know, like everybody really wants love, everybody wants mm -hmm. attention. And um, the first verse of the song says, um, you walk around with your head hung low and you think nobody cares. You stumbled through your dreams so long ago. Now all they do is stare. Mm -hmm. I know what you're feeling now. You want to tell, but you don't know how. But you're not alone because there are no outsiders. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people feel this way about their lives, you know. And sometimes they play the role of the accuser. And sometimes yeah. they play the role of the victim. But we all need love. And that's what we all crave. So sometimes we do it in utter madness. Or sometimes we're very <laughs> kind and we beg for it. You know, but some people can't be honest enough to cry out for it. So yeah. they get nasty you know <laughs> how, how is your state of mind as, as a moment are you, are you doing okay oh, i'm feeling aggressive yeah, I'm <laughs> no i'm fine i'm <laughs> fine i'm fine no so um anyway so um so the title of the album is no outsiders and um, most of the songs deal with you know human feelings you know emotions mm -hmm. love happiness sadness and all those things and none of us are really outsiders because we all have these feelings and these yeah. things um Tina Turner is, is, a, is a personal friend of yours. Yes. Uh, there's a big difference between your singing and Tina's singing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It has the same emotion to it, but you're much more 
hold back and and uh, if, if I listened to the album, I saw you standing in this very dark studio, very close to the mic, mm. and almost whispering into that mic. Yeah. Um, why do you sing like that? Is that the well, best way to express songs. yourselves? No, in some songs I sing like that. Mm -hmm. Whatever the song calls for. You know, there's some songs where I'm very, very intimate and very, very soft, and there's songs that you just have to belt out, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't think you should sort of limit yourself to saying, well, I'm this type of a singer, I'm a belter, or I'm a mm -hmm. crooner. You know, you should do whatever the song calls for. Because singing is really telling a story, isn't it? And I mean, you don't wake up every morning and go, hello, how are you? You know, some mornings you're <laughs> well, like, we have to, yeah. hi, darling. <laughs> 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 sometimes you want to be really sweet and sometimes you want to really be aggressive. So mm -hmm. um, also the style of music, my style of music is that, you know, you can't really categorize mm -hmm. my music, you know. It's because... Um, I write the way I feel, you know, if I feel up and bouncy, I write an up and bouncy song, if I want to be, you know, if I want to write a ballad, you know, either pain or joy or something, I do that, so, because that's okay. life, really. You know? Let's see uh, her latest single then, Judy Cheeks, I Still Love You. Judy is also still here. Um, tell me a bit more about your father. He, biography says that he was a famous guy. He was a reverend. Yeah. Uh, who was he? Um, reverend Julius Cheeks. Um, he was. Um, I don't know if you know much about quartet gospel singing, but um, yeah, he had a quartet <laughs> gospel group. Oh. And most of your um, R and B singers like mm -hmm. Sam Cooke, Wilson Pickett, Bobby Womack, or these type of people, Al Green. You know, they mm -hmm. all started out like this. So I had a very Music, a rich background in the sense that I had people like the staple singers or, you know, 
Sam Cooke and all these people around me all the time. So, um, therefore, singing came quite naturally. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's also very nice to have these sort of people in your living room saying to you, yeah. sing, sing, you know. <laughs> they never asked me if I could sing. Like, but if, if ever they sang and they needed a harmony or something, they would say, Judy, you know, fill in here, you know. So um, I decided to apply this in my music and, and, you know, write myself and produce mm -hmm. and everything myself so that this background would, you know, sort of come out in my music. So this is what No Outsiders is all about. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying, in fact, is if you have, if you believe in yourself, you can sing. It's, but because people say, well, she has no voice, or if he has no voice, he can't sing. But well, Tom Waits, he can't sing. But he, he uses his voice in a special way and he sings. So you, that's that's your idea. If you believe in it, everybody can sing. Well, well, I believe everybody can sing, but I think uh, singing is a form of expression, mm -hmm. you know. And um, even though I had very heavy people in the business, you know, singing around me and telling me to sing with them, they never said to me, "You should change your style," or "You should," you know. What they encouraged was that I learn to express myself, you know, mm -hmm. musically. So that's all it is. Singing is. I guess talking with a melody, melody. Or something. <laughs> you can sing. Let's hear you sing. Oh, this was it. The interview with Judy Cheeks. It was a big pleasure to have her in the studio. Lots of luck. Lots of luck. I like the album a lot. And it's now in the shops. It is called No Outsiders. I see you tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Judy. Thanks for having me.